Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. I uh, wanted to take a few minutes tonight and uh, go down a little bit of a rabbit trail. I'll take you with me. It won't be a deep one. Um, in fact, it'll be just a couple of kilometers deep. So in some recent reporting on a alt media satire site, the following headline appeared. According to Real Raw News, which is a satire site, I'll let you read the most of this. I can't say one of the words. US military destroys a trafficking tunnel in South Carolina. And they mentioned the specific site where it was located and the date that the tunnel destruction happened. Now, because that site is a satire site, um, it sometimes gets uh, bad press. Interestingly enough, it also is frequently targeted um, uh, with internet issues. Um, and so if there wasn't some truth to what's happening there, I don't think anybody would bother them. Um, and if you know, um, other tarot readers have read about the site, so I'm not going to, and got that it is uh, quite frequently, um, contains quite a bit of truth. And I get the same thing. So, however, I do like to kind of combine <clears throat> facts with satire before I give it too much credibility. To that end, I went to another site to check. In that article, it mentioned June 30th and Lugoff, I hope I'm saying it right, I apologize if I'm not, South Carolina, as where those tunnels were destroyed. So just a second, I'll show you the next site I looked at to see if I could confirm and verify some of that information. Okay, <clears throat> according to the earthquake, US uh, United States Geological Survey, their site, I did a search asking about um, all magnitude quakes that had happened in the last 30 days. And I specifically narrowed in on this spot in South Carolina and highlighted this. And sure enough, here is the same place mentioned. And there is, uh, if I come in a little closer, there was three in a row and they're all for June 30th and they're all for this location. And you can go to this same um, earthquake activity site that the US government sponsors and see this information for yourself. So let's ask the universe about it, okay? The information uh, we, looked at that talks about a trafficking tunnel for little people. Um, have they been successfully closed by this action? And is there anything more that the universe would like us to know about um, this situation or the site that reported on the action? So let's see what the universe has to say. And I'm not doubting that within that satire, there is some truth, but let's see what the universe says about the situation. And, uh, you know, one of these rather less conventional places that we sometimes have to go to try to find some news in this complicated world <laughs> we live in. Our first card is the Nine of Cups. And we have the Moon, Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Six of Wands, Three of Wands. 
the Eight of Pentacles. We'll talk about those in just a second. Well, as I was looking at the cards, I thought, I don't think my regular viewers are going to need me to do much interpreting here. Um, but we'll uh, blend in a little intuition in with what the cards are actually saying and see what answer we receive. The situation is indicated by the Nine of Cups, which is a card of almost complete fulfillment and satisfaction. So this is a good card for the situation about the tunnels. It bodes well for both the reporting on it and for the fact that they have been taken out of commission. Now it's clarified by the moon. Now the moon can be about secrets. It can be about dishonesty. It can be about um, loss of life. And all of those were involved with the tunneling situation. And so <clears throat> also it's, it's just a fact that the information is hard to find in the public arena for those of us interested in truth, even if it's uncomfortable and unpleasant. So the moon is looking on the situation. Um, we go to the recent past, Wheel of Fortune. As we know, fortunes are indeed changing and our world is changing and it changes for the positive and for the better. Even though the uh, mainstream would have you think that there's no good news out there and that we need to be fearful and depressed because that's the energy that evil feeds on, not one of hope and knowledge that battles are being won and the war is being won, even if few, a few battles remain to be fought. Justice is the present card. That's why I said, who's going to need me to do any interpreting here? Justice was at play. Okay. Now, as I was doing my intention to the universe on the shuffling, I asked that the near future card kind of speak to the reporting. So we have some great cards for that. We've got the six of wands, which is a victory card. We have a success and new beginnings card here. We have a hard work card here. So yes, while that site is a satire site, don't discount it as having truth because there is some to be found there. And in this case, whereas usually where the, uh, the reporting is a little off is on the timing and dates. Uh, in this case, we were able to confirm the time and the date and the location in the report. So I think that's telling us, you know, to give it some, give it some uh, credibility as we think about it. Clarifying a little further or more information, We've got a couple of more major arcanas. Look at all the major arcanas with this question here. One, two, three, four, five of them. Okay. And these are excellent cards for looking ahead at the future. We've got a new beginnings. The, the fool steps out on faith. It's often a card associated with the lions and the white hats. And the lover's card is one of balance and agreement. And we are getting our world more into alignment from dark to light, from evil doing their manipulations to, uh, to good and right and justice prevailing. So another win for the Alliance team. So yay. <laughs> That's it for this read. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your, your patience as I have you know, limited technical expertise here. And uh, I just value your support and encouragement so much. So thank you. Um, my interest in current events is not going to be gone over the 4th of July, but my hotel room looks out on the fireworks site for Crescent City. So it's going to be really noisy here. And I probably won't do any videoing tomorrow unless I do a uh, something um, up in the Redwoods or something where it'd be quieter. So anyway, but uh, thank you so much. If you're in the USA, have a good, safe 4th of July and, uh, you know, be, be observant of uh, fire danger. If you got little ones near the water, keep an eye on them and let's all have a safe celebration because uh, the Wheel of Fortune's turning and it's turning in the favor of the light and good. Thank you. <laughs>